business can be strained just keeping up with daily activities. They may have the plans to grow or bring a new product to market, but not the resources. In today's marketplace, if your business isn't moving forward, then it's really falling behind. Research and development can leverage your company to increase its market share and its competitiveness. Well, certainly, businesses are trying very desperately to get more innovative. Not only do they see competitors all around them, but they know very well that competitors are coming in from all over the world. And so it's not just enough to have another copy of the same product to constantly try to be better and try to be big step better than what's coming down the pipeline. And that can only be done through great innovation, either great innovation in marketing or great in innovation in technology or great innovation in uh, commercialization. And we focus on the great innovation in technology when we try to find partnerships between companies and uh, research institutions. Somebody who's saying, if only I could do this, to my product. That's the kind of person that we can help. Paul Rivet is from the Innovation Synergy Centre in Markham. His job is to create partnerships between business and research institutes. With R&D being such a large expense, how do you budget for this service? Well, there's no fee attached to our role in setting up the partnership and there's no underlying fee in the partnership. Now, researchers at colleges and universities don't do projects for nothing. First of all, they probably have some expenditures and they have to hire some students. So there are fees associated in carrying out the research and that's negotiated based on the contract research terms of the institution. Oftentimes though there are funding programs like Ontario Centres of Excellence can cover uh, funding on that. But some portion has to be contributed by the company, especially if the company wants to get any uh, priority rights to the outcome of the technology. So what we do first is we try to understand what the company is looking for. Sometimes that takes probing because they have a general idea of direction. We have to help them distill that into a, a, a very clear objective. And then we broadcast that objective, of course anonymously, to all the research colleges and universities in the province, the researchers that end up getting this message, if they're interested, will contact us and we'll put them in contact uh, discreetly, of course, with the company as kind of a matchmaking service. So in this process of the di initial discussions between the researchers and the companies, the product starts to then create, develop some shape and, and body and structure, oftentimes different from what they set out to be. Oftentimes different solutions, in fact oftentimes slightly different definitions of, of the problem. Very important to find the company's need, match it to the researcher and get them talking because they're going to really define the scope of the project. Partnering with a research institute to improve your product, with the prospect of funding for some of the costs, what kind of business qualifies for this opportunity? This program applies to almost all technology. Our R&D pro partnership program has shown to be a great opportunity for small and medium-sized businesses that are looking for a technology edge in their uh, product line or marketplace. It gives them access to researchers who are expert in the field, people that they don't know in advance, and even the discussion leads to changes in their directions and changes in their technology. And when they collaborate, some great new features and opportunities often result. For more information on partnering with a university or college, contact the Innovation Synergy Centre at www.iscm.ca. Big Fish Video Productions.